Ladies and gentlemen, we have been watching Mount St. Helens closely, uh, very closely for the last year, as it appears as if the number of earthquakes had been increasing. Um, and now we have a definitive uptick once again. 15 days ago, the number of earthquakes went up by a factor of five. So we now have the most earthquakes in since 2016 happening at the volcano and there's currently 82 earthquakes in the last 30 days at Mount St. Helens. Now this is not uh, unique in any way because this volcano is one of the most active volcanoes in the Cascades in the last 10,000 years and has been erupting multiple times just in the last few hundred years. Now, the problem is that there's a new glacier in the giant caldera that was formed from the 1980 eruption. And if another eruption occurs there, even a small one, it could melt that glacier and literally send catastrophic lahars and mud floods down rivers that are heavily populated. And so that is the unfortunate situation. Now, what happened at this volcano back in 2016 was probably the emplacement of some magma. There were small earthquake swarms uh, happening, and it was concluded by volcanologists that it was another phase of magma recharge. Well, at some point, the magma doesn't need to recharge anymore, and an, an eruption occurs. But it, it appears as if there's activity at depth here where magma could be coming from, 20 kilometers, and more activity up at the surface, which would be indicative of an eruption happening soon. What we would need to see is a much larger uptick in uh, earthquake activity at St. Helens, um, which will be obvious because it's heavily monitored, and we will also need some information about the uplift. So we're going to dig into that and give you an update more specific on what's going on on the mountain probably in a day or so. Just a heads up that there has been a Significant uptick in volcanic tremor and small-scale earthquakes in the caldera. And I don't, you shouldn't need any convincing. And the reason we're doing the video is that the red dots are earthquakes that have happened in the last two hours. And that is pretty significant. That's almost a dozen quakes in the last two hours. Orange is the last two days and yellow is the last two weeks. So just in the last two weeks, there have been dozens of quakes in the caldera. In the last two hours, over 10. And that's why we're bringing this to your attention. Mount St. Helens, there appears to be an uptick. The dangers present, we will go over at length in the full expose and over at Magnetic Reversal News uh, probably tomorrow night. So here, I'll leave you links to the danger map here uh, printed by the USGS. If you live in this region, you're worried. I'll also leave you links to the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network where you can do your own monitoring at home. So there's your update, and that's a boom to knowledge. Hope you got something out of the video. Ask any questions below if you uh, are a little concerned. And stay tuned for the full update tomorrow on Magnetic Reversal News. Be safe. We love you.